Embraer is making a significant strategic move to introduce its KC-390 Millennium aircraft into the U.S. Air Force's Next Generation Air Refueling System NGAS, competition, signaling both ambition and foresight in a highly competitive field. The Brazilian aerospace company is exploring the establishment of a U.S.-based assembly line, with preliminary indications suggesting an investment of roughly $500 million. This approach is designed to satisfy the stringent, by American, requirements, ensure domestic content compliance, and strengthen the aircraft's competitiveness for tanker and tactical airlift roles. By committing to local production, Embraer is attempting to position the KC-390 not only as a capable multi-role aircraft but also as a politically and industrially viable option for U.S. defense planners. The KC-390 is a medium-sized jet transport that is powered by two high-bypass turbofan engines, optimized for operations on short or semi-prepared runways. Its rear cargo ramp allows rapid loading and unloading, accommodating a wide range of payloads from NATO standard pallets to light and heavy vehicles, as well as helicopters of Black Hawk size. Embraer emphasizes that more than half of the aircraft's components already come from 59 U.S. suppliers, a factor that could significantly streamline the transition to a domestic assembly line and address Washington's long-standing concerns about both the location of production and the origin of materials. The company has indicated that it is tailoring the KC-390 to U.S. requirements, including a boom-equipped tanker variant capable of meeting NGAS operational needs. The aircraft's design balances tactical flexibility with operational efficiency. It has a maximum payload capacity of 26 metric tons for concentrated loads and 23 metric tons for distributed loads, with around 23.9 metric tons of usable wing fuel. The KC-390 cruises at speeds of up to 470 knots true airspeed, or roughly Mach 0.80, and reaches service ceilings of 36,000 feet while maintaining a cabin altitude of 8,000 feet. Its digital avionics and fly-by-wire flight control system not only enhance pilot control but also provide flight envelope protection and gust alleviation, improving operational safety under challenging conditions. These features make the aircraft well-suited for missions ranging from tactical transport and airdrop operations to humanitarian assistance and medical evacuation. The versatility of the KC-390 is one of its key selling points. Its modular cabin configurations allow for a wide range of mission profiles. Depending on the layout, it can transport up to 80 personnel, carry 64 paratroopers ready for jump operations, or accommodate as many as 80 litters for medical evacuation purposes. Combinations such as 36 passengers alongside 50 litters are also possible, offering a high degree of operational adaptability. This flexibility is critical for planners who anticipate that future operational theaters will demand rapid transitions between cargo transport, troop deployment, and emergency response without extensive reconfiguration. In its tanker configuration, the KC-390 is designed to support both small and large fuel transfers. Underwing refueling pods and sophisticated fuel management systems enable the aircraft to provide top-ups for fighters and helicopters or transfer larger quantities of fuel to transports and special mission aircraft. The platform's structural reinforcement allows it to operate from austere or damaged airstrips and withstand extreme environmental conditions, ranging from humid tropical areas to arctic regions and hot, sandy deserts. Its airframe is pre-wired for self-protection systems, including radar and missile warning suites, expendables, and the potential integration of electronic warfare equipment, ensuring survivability in contested airspace. Embraer's approach to the U.S. market also emphasizes industrial and political considerations. The company previously collaborated with L3 Harris on a tactical tanker variant, but that partnership has concluded. Industry sources have cited Northrop Grumman as a potential new partner, although no official announcement has been made. By establishing a U.S. assembly line and ensuring a domestic supplier base, Embraer seeks to comply with congressional scrutiny regarding local jobs, production timelines, and adherence to content regulations.
The company's existing U.S. footprint, developed through regional and business jet production, provides a foundation that could facilitate a smooth expansion into defense manufacturing. Operationally, the KC-390 occupies a niche between smaller tactical transports and larger strategic airlifters and tankers already in U.S. service. Its capability to move fuel forward to fighters, provide top-ups to helicopters, and support special operations aircraft without committing a heavy platform makes it a versatile asset for future conflicts. Furthermore, the aircraft can combine cargo transport with medical evacuation or humanitarian missions within a single sortie, increasing mission efficiency and offering planners a flexible tool in mixed operational environments. This versatility is increasingly relevant as the U.S. Air Force anticipates operations in contested spaces where mission requirements can change rapidly. Survivability remains a core concern for NGAS requirements, which envision operations in more hazardous airspaces in the 2030s. Embraer positions the KC-390 as a baseline platform capable of integrating additional sensors, low observable features, and advanced self-protection systems. The company emphasizes that a U.S. assembly line would allow seamless integration of American radios, cryptographic systems, electronic warfare suites, and mission-specific equipment, ensuring the aircraft can meet future U.S. operational standards. While program thresholds and operational objectives are still under development, Embraer appears committed to demonstrating that the KC-390 can evolve to meet the rigorous expectations of NGAS. Competition for NGAS is formidable. Established U.S. aerospace companies such as Boeing and Lockheed Martin already possess deep domestic production capabilities and a track record in tanker and transport operations. Airbus also offers proven solutions through the A330MRTT. For a non-U.S. prime contractor like Embraer, establishing a domestic production footprint, creating jobs, and ensuring compliance with U.S. content regulations are prerequisites for a credible bid. By leveraging its existing U.S. industrial relationships and highlighting its flexibility and multi-role capability, Embraer is attempting to position the KC-390 as a viable alternative in this highly competitive environment. International operational experience adds to the aircraft's credibility. Several European and Asian air forces operate or have ordered the KC-390, providing performance data that can be reviewed by U.S. decision-makers. Historical collaboration between Brazil and the United States in defense technology further supports the political acceptability of a KC-390 proposal. A U.S. production line would enhance credibility, reduce friction related to import regulations, and offer Washington a second source for tanker and tactical airlift capabilities, providing additional resilience in a program where cost, performance, and survivability are all critical factors. In addition to military applications, the KC-390's operational flexibility could offer significant benefits in humanitarian missions, disaster response, and special operations support. Its ability to rapidly switch between transporting cargo, evacuating personnel, and providing aerial refueling enhances overall efficiency, particularly in complex theaters where mission requirements are unpredictable. By combining tactical adaptability with strategic utility, the aircraft represents a modern approach to multi-mission air mobility that aligns with emerging U.S. Air Force priorities. Embraer's forward-looking strategy reflects both ambition and pragmatism. The company is moving early in the NGAS process, scouting potential U.S. production sites, and preparing to meet domestic content requirements before submitting a formal proposal. This proactive approach acknowledges the political, industrial, and operational dimensions of competing for a U.S. defense contract, recognizing that technical performance alone is insufficient. By positioning the KC-390 as a versatile, survivable, and domestically produced platform, Embraer is seeking to carve a niche in a program dominated by established aerospace giants. In summary, the KC-390 represents a multi-role aircraft capable of filling a tactical gap between small transports and large strategic airlifters and tankers. 
Embraer's proposed U.S. assembly line and adaptation for NGAS requirements signal a commitment to compliance with domestic policies while maximizing operational utility. Its combination of modular interior layouts, advanced avionics, fly-by-wire flight control, robust structural design, and flexible refueling capability positions the KC-390 as a highly adaptable platform for the future. By aligning industrial planning with operational flexibility, Embraer is aiming to present the KC-390 as both a capable and politically acceptable option for the U.S. Air Force, offering a unique blend of multi-mission versatility, survivability, and domestic production benefits that could redefine the tactical and refueling landscape for decades to come.